Atim Motaseb reviews possible questions call center workers might get when manning a census phone bank, especially for refugees and immigrants. For the refugee community, it's uh, uh, probably the first time uh, uh, hearing about census or participating in census. Um, so that requires a lot of work and it, uh, it requires uh, building a hub. Motaseb is a regional organizer with Partnership for the Advancement of New Americans, or PANA, based in City Heights. He says there are obstacles to convincing refugees to complete the census. Our community is uh, dealing with trauma here in the U.S. with the Trump administration and the weaponization of the citizenship question, for example, created a lot of fear in our community. Uh, so uh, it made the, our job uh, harder. The phone bank is made up of more than 15 organizations. Workers are translating materials in more than 13 languages. Hi, my name is Idol. I'm calling from a nonprofit called PANA, and we're just letting people know about the 2020 census. Are you planning on completing it? She just hung up on me. It's the second day on the job for 17-year-old Amron Mohammed. She says hang-ups are part of the gig. Still, the native South African says she's proud to help other immigrants. They're afraid that the people who has information is not trustworthy and they'll come and maybe tore their family apart. We're here to make sure they live and prosper in America and they can actually become a citizen. Pana hopes to reach 14,000 immigrants via phone within the next five weeks to let them know how the census impacts their communities. Ebony Monet, KPBS News.